A behind the scenes look on what's going on with Chapter 6, content creation and the many supposedly finished weapons and cosmetics DICE has stored away. A 8v8 competitive still possibly in the works and a crazy lunge mine 6 man on Operation Underground. This is your week of the battlefield. Welcome to this episode of This Week on the Battlefield, the show where we cover news, updates, the community, and so much more all around the Battlefield franchise. As per usual, there's much to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Our main news story in this quiet week is the behind the scenes information we got from Community Manager Part Welsh on the remainder of Chapter 6 and the countless pieces of seemingly finished content we keep on finding in the game files. As he explains in his post, originally there was an intention to have a mixture of cosmetics and tier skip rewards for the weekly Tides of War missions, which in connection with the new weapons and gadgets being unlocked via chapter rank rewards, would have ensured for players actively jumping into Battlefield 5. In addition to a bug and the resulting decision by DICE to release those weapons for all players as Chapter 6 launched, the delays to their production schedule for the next update and future content that have resulted from the current global health crisis means that it is very possible the remainder of the weekly Tides of War missions will remain tier skip reward tokens and not be replaced with any new cosmetics as originally intended by DICE. To note here, of course, if you manage to get all the rewards for Chapter 6 from the rank progressions, each tier skip reward token will actually net you 100 boins, which, given that Chapter 6 isn't exactly ending tomorrow, could actually add up to quite a sizable amount. Part Welsh goes on to further outline in his comments that there was never an intention to release further gadgets or weapons in Chapter 6. Now, if that means we will still get the Pacific Ocean map, references to which were found in the game files by Temporal following update 6.0, frankly, I don't know. But with nothing announced by DICE so far, I would argue chances don't stand too high at the moment that Battlefield 5 will receive any new major content before Chapter 7 rolls around. On the matter of the many weapons and cosmetics people keep on data mining and why they aren't available in game, Part Welsh goes on to explain how much of this content is in fact not fully finished. Balance for a different part of the game such as the cancelled 5v5 and thus not multiplayer already or intended for a later chapter or theatre of war. Thus, DICE isn't in fact sitting on an armory of cosmetics and weapons ready to launch, but is still working on much of the content hidden away in the game files. If you're interested in more info on the behind the scenes working of some of the content creation and also the communication relationship between the community, community managers and then developers, I highly recommend you check out the series of comments made by Part Welsh as they are highly insightful. You'll find the link of course down below in the description. In our usual weekly news nuggets, this week's Tides of War assignment Hit and Run features a series of rush and simple score related challenges that reward you with of course a tier skip reward token. Besides that, with Rush of course being back for the week, we have a dedicated playlist to the mode featuring it on Devastation, Mercury, Narvik, Rotterdam, Operation Underground, Aros, Twisted Steel and brand new of course, Wake Island. Next week, expect things to be similarly quiet as they were this week. As regards Tides of War assignments, Week 8, Uprising, sees a focus on the Battlefield Classic, Conquest, and tasks centered around just that as well as some recon spotting duties. The reward of course, very predictably, is also set to be a tier skip reward token, or in the case that you've already completed that progression, 100 points. The most consistently interesting and active part of Battlefield 5 and its community is honestly probably Temporal. And as such, today in our Temporal goodness, as always of course to be taken with a generous helping of salt given the data mining origins of the provided information, we start off with a supposed reference to a competitive sounding 8v8 squad conquest tournament. The mode was discovered almost 11 months ago now, but supposedly received significant updates regarding specifically Aras, Hamada, Rotterdam and possibly even devastation in the 6.2 update, indicating of course that DICE may not quite have given up on the competitive side of the Battlefield community just yet, and maybe bringing us at least a limited competitive environment or game mode in the not too distant future. In further new content related news, we know of course from Part Welsh's comments on Reddit that no new gadgets or of course weapons are scheduled for release in Chapter 6, and Temporal has details as to why, at least as regards the Doppelschuss Recon Flare Gun, a new gadget that was originally found in the game files and supposedly slotted for release in Week 8 for Chapter 6. According to him, a crippling bug currently affects the gadget, delaying its release indefinitely. 
All sounds, of course, very similar to the situation we had with the lunch mine, so hopefully we do see it in a future chapter. Lastly then, in more traditional data mining territory, we have the cosmetics. Firstly, as relates to weapon charms, a customization option that according to Temporial, the devs are actually still actively working on. The demo provided specifically includes the so-called can opener, holiday tree, colibri, lighter, fossil and fishing lure. Hopefully, we actually end up seeing these sometime in the future for Battlefield 5. I quite like me, specifically the Colibri. Alongside that, we also have another unreleased vehicle dressing, the Supply Line, this time for the Stag Hound, featured here by Temporal with a variety of paint jobs, many of which are actually still, of course, unreleased. But with things being quiet around Battlefield 5, unsurprisingly, there is little to talk about in terms of community news, not to despair, however. In our only in Battlefield moments, we have Hainsworth using the trusty V1 to exact his revenge on the overpowering enemy team, pushing him and of course his squad into his own base. Remember, if you want your own clip featured on the This Week on the Battlefield show, don't forget to submit it for consideration either at defiantdisaster at gmail.com or over on Twitter at defiantdisaster. But next up, we have I-337 Rage with an extraordinarily lucky shot on Pacific Storm. Elder up next on Operation Underground with a story of a cluster of enemies, a lunge mine, and a clean sex tuple. And lastly, we have It's Your Boy Psycho teaching a camping sniper a painful lesson with the help of his bazooka on Armada. But coming to the end of this week's episode then, if you enjoyed the show, found it interesting or entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it and of course hit me up with your feedback, suggestions and opinions down below in the comments or over on Twitter. With that being said over, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next episode this week on The Battlefield 